Okay, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our cat payload scales and the dump thresholds and how those affect what you're doing. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bucket load of material and I've got tip off disabled right now. So our dump thresholds with tip off disabled are very, very tight or very, very short. So if I get a bucket load of material and I lift that up and I get a weight, there's 5.3 and if I go to dump it, Watch how quickly my 5.3 in my bucket changes to asterisks. I just give a small dump threshold and now that is completely latched in uh, and I can't make adjustments to that, that anymore. If I go ahead and dump it, it's actually all going to be in that bucket. Now, on the flip side of that, if I engage tip-off mode, I wanna show you, um, how that uh, dump threshold actually changes what's going on for that operator. I'm gonna go ahead and minus off that first bucket pass. And I'll show you as I get this second bucket pass, I don't need much, so let me just get a little bit of material here. Just for demonstration purposes, as I get that material weighed, and I can even do a low level weight. So I got 5.8. As I start to dump my bucket, notice here, I'm already past that short dump threshold window with tip off disabled. And that that is because we open up that dump threshold when we're in tip off mode so you can start metering material. And now there's a certain point here where you can keep metering. And then when you're at your point where your material that you want, you rack back. And now you could carry this over to your truck. And as you go to your truck, you could, uh, You'd be reweighing it, and on the way to that truck, when you go do go to dump it in the truck, you want to make sure that you dump that bucket over far enough so that you actually hit those asterisks again to latch that material in because you're not making any more adjustments. That's what we have with our dump threshold. So now I've just demonstrated with to you both how with tip off disabled or with tip off enabled. Uh, how that actually works. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to load a truck with a tip-off manual tip-off mode to the stockpile. This can be very useful when you are say loading say trucks that uh, are with tarp bows or maybe a little higher than what uh, your loader may be designed for so that you can then uh, get that short window for that dump threshold and that will latch that material in and then you can kind of do a push pass or get that material uh, loaded over. Uh, but it will still allow you to use manual tip-off at the stockpile. So I'll show you how to engage that. So in this case, I've got manual tip-off as my default mode. I'm going to get my first pass in. And if you notice here, I've got one pass. And I'm going to go ahead and carry it over to my truck. And as I'm doing that, you can see I'm constantly just moving and lifting. And I will get my weight here on my way in. And I can give a dump to my truck and notice short dump threshold I've already latched that material in it says eight tons is over there I've got my asterisks can't really make any more adjustments to that and so let's say I want a second pass on this machine so I come back around for that second pass I don't need a lot of material so I don't need another eight tons so I'm gonna just go a little bit light here. As I come out of that pile, I'm gonna go ahead and generate a low level way. And then, oh, that's too much. I wanna tip some material off. I hit that manual tip off button. And in this case, now I can actually start metering material. So I started with 6.5. I can just tip some material off. And uh, that 14 was a little bit too much. I don't need quite all that. Tip off a little bit more. Now different materials flow in different ways, so you're gonna have to kind of play with how that material is, but when you are at your target, you basically rack back, back out of the pile, and in this case, I'm gonna turn off my tip-off mode, and I'm just carrying what I need over to my truck. And in this case, you can see, I've got the material that I wanted, and now I simply just dump it onto that truck and oh, I get that short dump threshold back because I didn't hit that manual tip off. So now uh, all of that material is latched in there. This is really helpful if you've got, uh, you know, say truck with tarp bows or do, you're doing some push passes 
uh, things like that on that last pass. So that is how you actually utilize that manual tip-off mode. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Now, since I'm done with that, I can press store. It simply saves that data and uh, resets the display right back to where you were at. So you're ready for your next truck.